morning, Indiana. I am Jade Hindman. It is February, but it's certainly going to feel like spring outside today. Kyle, are, are we even going to have the same kind of wind that we had yesterday? It just blew me around. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be quite as strong. All right, Kyle, thanks. Democracy 2016, just two days left until the Indiana primary and presidential candidates are trying to grab any undecided voters. Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, and Bernie Sanders are all campaigning in our state today. Hillary Clinton is also in Indianapolis for the first time this morning. And good morning, Indiana. Indiana's Emily Pace is live on the north side right now with the latest. Hey, Emily. Hey, Jade. Hey there, guys. You guys have the whole kit and caboodle out there. All right, thanks. So look at your headlines now. An 11-year-old boy is at Riley Hospital right now after an apparent medical condition and a fall from a festival ride in Shelbyville. The young boy was riding the zipper last. So we've got new video to show you from those severe storms that rolled through central Indiana last week. You can see it. A Zionsville police officer actually captured a tornado touching down in Boone County. The funnel is just left of the utility pole there. This EF1 tornado packed winds of 110 miles per hour. A Boone County Sheriff's deputy says he saw the tornado touch down, pick up a barn, and slam it back down to the ground. And this morning, Syria is restarting a partial ceasefire that was broken in several attacks this week. U.S. and Russian officials are making it a priority. Welcome back. People can see the light at the end of the tunnel. The monster snowstorm is phasing out this morning for most major cities, but already the storm has taken its toll. At least 14 people have died in the storm, mostly in traffic crashes as the snow fell. Welcome back to Good Morning Indiana. A developing story about information on an iPhone that could identify an unknown attacker in the San Bernardino shooting. This is a viewer video of high winds and sleet in Kokomo. Well, welcome in spring in Indiana. My goodness, I can't tell. Is it where? Where is spring? I know it, it's uh, funny, you know. March was so mild for right. us, and then we get into April. Spring's officially here, and now it feels more like winter.